Dozens of civilians have been killed and injured as rival military forces battle for control in Sudan. Rescue operations continue in Slovyansk as the death toll from Friday's missile strike rises to 11. Poland and Hungary agree to temporarily ban grain imports from Ukraine in a move they say will help protect local farmers. More than 50 civilians have been killed and more than 400 injured in one of Sudan's worst escalations of violence. The Sudanese Armed Forces and its former allies, the paramilitary Rapid Support Forces Group, are battling after tensions over a proposed transition to civilian rule. The violence comes after months of escalating tensions between the groups and years of political unrest since a military coup in 2021. Sudan's air force struck multiple paramilitary bases. The RSF says it's taken control of the presidential palace and Khartoum International Airport. The military has ruled out negotiations with the RSF, vowing instead to dismantle the group. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has strongly condemned the fighting that threatens to destabilize much of the region. Rescue operations are continuing in Ukraine's eastern city of Slovyansk after a Russian missile strike on Friday that killed at least 11 people, including a toddler. Ukraine's Air Force said the Patriot air defense system, which the United States is expected to deliver soon, would help prevent such attacks. On Saturday, President Zelensky introduced further sanctions against some 700 Russian and Belarusian businesses and citizens. Санкційний тиск на всіх, хто винен цій агресії, блокування їхніх активів, можливостей на рівні усього світу, це самозахист світу і вже зараз від будь-яких інших можливостей агресії. Meanwhile, Moscow claims assault units of the Wagner Mercenary Group have captured two neighborhoods in the northern and southern suburbs of Bakhmut. The Kremlin also accuses retreating Ukrainian troops of destroying city infrastructure and residential buildings to slow the advance of Russian forces. Poland and Hungary have temporarily banned imports of grain and dozens of other food products from Ukraine in a move they say aims to protect local farmers. Logistical problems in Central Europe have caused grain stores to pile up and prices to plummet, sparking protests from agricultural workers and even the resignation of Poland's agricultural minister. Kiev has deplored the decision as drastic and unilateral, arguing that Ukrainian farmers were facing the most difficult situation given the war. Poland says it's ready to start talks with Ukraine to resolve the grain issue. Hungary, meanwhile, said it expects changes in European regulations, including a review of last year's decision to lift all import tariffs on Ukraine's agricultural products. Both Warsaw and Budapest said their bans will remain in force until the 30th of June. Protests across the United States on Saturday against new limits to abortion rights currently under review by the courts. In Washington, D.C., a rally took place outside the Supreme Court one day after justices temporarily blocked a ruling by a Texas judge that would restrict nationwide access to the widely used abortion drug Mifepristone. Last year, the Supreme Court struck down the constitutional right to abortion at the federal level, leaving it up to each state to decide. Tens of thousands of Israelis marched on Saturday for the 15th consecutive week to protest Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's proposed overhaul of the justice system. Netanyahu paused the plans last month, but protesters say they won't stop until the proposed changes are scrapped. The plan would give the government the final say in appointing the nation's judges and the authority to override Supreme Court decisions. Critics say it would politicize the justice system.